today's video is sponsored by Gantry. Use code COZYK20 for $20 off any Gantry item. Thank you, Gantry. Apologies, y'all, because I look absolutely crazy right now. I got up early today to meet this guy from Facebook Marketplace to get this bedside table. I'm so excited. Sheila's on it. I picked it up, and I'm out of breath because I had to carry it in front of the car and carry it up our, like, double five stairs. It's very nice. It's very nice. Sheila really likes it for some reason. Isn't that nice? So I think it will... Go nicely over there. Right, Sheila? Hey. <laughs> keep this plant here and then this is where I put my stuffed animals for now but I feel like I need to move them elsewhere and I'm sad about it. Rug, dresser, mirror, a little decor for the top of my dresser. Then it's 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 about finished. It's about finished. I'm excited. Okay I have to go work. <laughs> it's past nine. Bye y'all. Hey y'all. So the day has come for a bunch of updates. It's also the day of Animal Crossing update dropping. It dropped early while I was out at Home Goods getting home goods. So um, I'm gonna hurry up and show you all this while it's downloading. So here's everything I have that's new and just bought today. So I got these from Home Goods a couple days ago when I went. And just like coffee table books, but I thought they were really cute. Um, this is also a like TJ Maxx Marshalls purchase. And then I had, because all of my stuffed animals were there, I put them over here. It's so tight and I just, I already don't have space over here. So on Etsy, I found this and it's like a little kid's uh, stuffed animal holder, but I put it right under this guy. Uh, and it's perfect. I have it in the corner. The ugly light's there, I know, ignore it. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's so cute. So, yeah, I have that. I think I showed, did I show you all that? I think I showed you all that I was gonna put it up, but I put it up finally. So this is kind of this corner. It's a little weird, but at least there's like something there, I guess. Oh, I got this. It's from Happy and Polly. It's a little cat bed. And Sheila actually sits on it sometimes, so that's fun. And I got this from Home Goods. It's like a little lap desk for when I'm working. And then my rug came in. I'm so excited. I don't know how I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna have to move everything. But I'm so excited to show y'all that. I got this for under my TV where I put the other garland. Or I might put it under my computer. We'll see. Um, if you watch my first vlog, I built a black one for downstairs. I got a white one for up here and I'll just put this in there and then if it gets gross I can switch it out because you just you can't you have to get a whole new one of those so I have to build that that's that and then my dresser is supposed to come in soon so I have that and I got this really cool gold mirror to go on top of it then I got this to replace this because I don't have anything black in my room and it's a really cool like caged light thing but I just don't have anything black in my room so I'm gonna put that downstairs I'm gonna put a big votive candle in it um so I'm gonna put that plant in there instead and then I got this for all of my many bl <laughs> blankets I have a stack of blankets I need somewhere to put them I got this please ignore my hair and everything but that's everything I got um, I can't wait to show y'all the dresser with the mirror on top and like the top staged. And then I got a new huge mirror for the hallway and I can't wait to show y'all that, but I need help bringing it up because it's huge. And literally once I set those things up, that's gonna be the end of my room decor. I genuinely have nothing left to do in my room after that, which is kind of sad, but also I'm so excited for it to like 
be done done. Uh, one other thing I added to my bathroom. It's not that cute, but I added this shelfing. So I have that little like painting, but I added this shelf here. And I like just having like little things that I use a lot there in addition to my like skincare. I will catch you next time. I have everything and can finish my room. Bye. Hi, cozy friends. How are we today? I think my only update, my rug came in. I, this is like the thing I think I'm most excited for in my room because look how amazing it looks with a rug. Doesn't it just look complete? I really don't like carpet on the ground. I like like living on it, but I don't like the look of it. But I love this rug. It's the one that we found together on Home Depot, solid eight by eight. It's great. I kind of wish I brought it out a little tiny bit more since you can't even see it in the back. Like might as well see it up here, but now it's too late because I did all that by myself i rolled out the rug underneath the bed i was lifting the bed up every step of rolling it out it was terrible it was like a workout and i just i can't do it again my dresser hasn't come in because it just hasn't gotten delivered unfortunately uh so it's frustrating and i just want my dresser i bought a mirror to put on top and i just want to set up my dresser because then my room will be done and i can show it to y'all and I kind of want to put, so y'all know I love my gantry lights. Both of them. This one. Hello. This is the cantilever one. I talked about last time how it just like classes my desk up. But I was considering putting that light here on top of my dresser. So I could have my gold mirror on top of like, I, it's like a dark wood similar to that dresser. Gold mirror on top. This gantry light here and just like little trinkets maybe some like dried flowers in a vase that is my vision that is my vision is it is it too is it too much am i asking for too much i don't think so i just want my dresser to be delivered <laughs> i'm so sad oh gantry light we will find a place for you very soon you beautiful beautiful thing you what else Oh, I also got a little, got a little something, got a little something. Oh, what's that? What's that? It looks like my rings are almost closed. What is that? Is that an Apple watch? <gasps> I got an Apple watch. I think I told y'all about that, but I'm so excited about it. I was an Apple watch naysayer. I was. I was an Apple watch naysayer, one of my mods, my brother, my roommate, everybody was trying to convince me to get an Apple Watch. They're like, no, you don't understand. You just have to get one and then you'll understand. I finally caved. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know. Maybe it was starting a job, finally having some disposable income. And so I finally caved and I got one. And it is, it is life changing. Not only do you feel a little bit like, <laughs> what's that? A full Apple sweet, you say? But I also, it's also just so nice. Like I'm so bad at just thinking about mindfulness, thinking about um, exercise, thinking about my bedtime. Like I kind of just like autopilot through my days. And this helps you not autopilot in certain ways, you know, like you can stop and do like a short little mindfulness thing. Um, it like gives you reminders to stand up every hour. It like has this ring function so that you can see, like you can track your goals and like work out for the day and stuff. Like I biked this morning at 7 a.m. Um, because I wanted, I, I was motivated by the rings. I don't know what the rings do, but they just, they have me in a chokehold now. Now I just wanna, you know, I just, I just wanna complete, complete it every day. Humans are funny like that. We just need like the smallest incentives. Give us a little colored ring on a screen and we're like, oh, okay, I'll do it. Hamster wheel. So silly, but it works and I love it. Today was a really busy day and I think I'm still kind of in like busy mode because look, I'm filming right now. I'm like, let me do something else. Like I started at 5 a.m. I had an interview today at 5 a.m. It was an interview for an article. It was really cool. I don't know if I'm like allowed to talk about it. It's not like, it's like someone's personal article, but 
I, don't, I just won't talk about it. But it was a, it was fun. There was cool people. I was like, I got to talk to like uh, this one game dev that I know and I love the or not game dev. Sorry, he owns a game company. And I love the game company, and I, I played a lot of games from the game company. So it was really cool being able to like just to pontificate with him about stuff and like cozy gaming. And it's weird. I, I have like surreal moments in times like that where I just, it's a little bit imposter syndrome-y because I'm like, I'm just a girl who likes playing video games. I just, just a girl. I just play, I just play Animal Crossing. Now like people will come to me and like ask me what my thoughts are on the cozy gaming community and like kind of ask me to be an advocate and speak for the cozy gaming community. And I'm like, I don't know how I got here. I just did, I'm, I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea. And then get to like, be in the room with people who are like the front runners of the cozy gaming community and literally putting out cozy games and it's so so cool i'm like how did i get here what is life two years ago i wasn't doing any of this i wasn't doing any of this i was just a law student and that's all i did and that's all i had to like look forward to for the rest of my life was just like working I talk about this in like every single platform that i have because it's i i, I hope i can connect with somebody and and have them realize this sooner than I did but like having something that you can put your time into that is purely a passion project and purely just like the joy you have for that topic or that thing and I don't even know if it has to be like pure joy and passion like it can be I think half passion like it is for me but I think you can do something that you're like kind of passionate about, but like it's yours and you spend time on it and you cultivate it. I think that's necessary to be happy and fulfilled because I think if I was only doing my job, I would do that. I would I would sit at home after five o'clock and I'd be like, okay, well, I'll play video games and I'll, you know, make dinner and that's it. And that's valid <laughs> that's totally fine but um i think when you don't have a, like projects on top of your hobbies or your hobbies kind of aren't things that that really can put you in like that flow state of like work and like passion and and just like intense um you know unlocking creativity and unlocking like just that feeling, I don't know how to describe it in flow state, and I don't even think I under, I completely understand flow state. I've just heard it, and I'm like, that, that's, that sounds right. That, I think, is necessary to feel fulfilled, and I think no matter how textbook successful you are, doing a successful thing, or like bringing in money, or whatever, you're not gonna feel all the way fulfilled unless you're also working towards something that like speaks to you and your heart and your personal work and yeah I don't know maybe that's just like my personality maybe some people need that and then some people need kind of like that's fine I have my work and I'm fine with that just being work but then I need just pure relaxation time like I just need to brain off nothing else for all of the rest of my time and I get that too I get that too I think if you do that now and you feel like something's missing, you're feeling a little bit unfulfilled, look into just like putting yourself, throwing yourself into something, into something, some project, some thing. And you never know where it will get you because look where I am from me throwing myself into an Instagram account, a random little Instagram account. <laughs> I don't know how I got here. I got here because I was having an existential crisis about how the hell I became a gaming content creator when two years ago I was nothing of the sort. Just things to think about. Just things to think about. Um, what a weird, what a weird tangent conversation this has been. I don't think I have anything else to update y'all on. Hopefully the next room thing will be getting my dresser in and being able to set that up. But I'll try and take you guys through some um, things this week. Tomorrow I'm going to a Harry Styles concert. I'm very excited about it. And then this weekend, I'm going on a company retreat, so I won't be streaming, I won't be anything. I'll just be on the retreat, just chilling, just vibing. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.
I just remembered I literally turned on this vlog to do a little work with me session because I have to do two content related things. Let me make sure I don't have to do like actual lawyer stuff right now. Um, it's almost five, so I don't. Um, I have two content stuff to do. My two work things right now are taking pictures. I don't think I can say what it's for yet. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna look up, I have a, a folder of picture inspo um, and I kind of usually like, will just look at it and try and mesh a couple ideas because I never want to copy something outright that's terrible. <laughs> um, so I usually just like combined a bunch of inspirations and go off of that. So I've been saving a lot of Christmas stuff like this lately but I think it's too early for Christmassy stuff. I love this. I have a tray. I have a blanket and candles. It's not focusing, kind of, there we go. This is from Doses of Calm, I love them. Uh, this, so this is what I do, I'm like, okay, this is cute, I'll just incorporate the tray. So I have a tray here, I'll incorporate the tray, maybe blanket, maybe baby's breath, then I keep going. Okay, so now I'm looking at this. And I like that that something's in the foreground and something's in the background. I haven't done a cup of tea in a while, so I think I might do a cup of tea on my tray, maybe a blanket, bunch of candles, and then maybe my switch in the background and the thing I'm shooting in the foreground. We'll try that out. I'm gonna I'm go collect some uh, materials. I'll be back. Gotta cover this up. I've got this set up. Um, I think I want to add... Ah, I know. I'm adding these guys. I did it. I did it. I'm so excited. I'll show you the setup. Here's the setup. I had these lit. I had this surrounding this. That was one of my one of my faves actually. I think I'm gonna use those little branches more often. And then I took some just for, for normal feed pics as well. That's that. The next thing I have to do is script my video that I'm gonna be doing for next week. So this video is gonna come out in two weeks. The video for next week is a winter game recommendation video. I'm very excited about it. I've loved doing like the seasonal um, game recommendations. I'm gonna be doing research on them, writing the scripting for it. I usually just do kind of like a loose scripting and talk more from like the heart. But in this case, there's a lot of games I actually haven't tried and they're games that like are very popular in the cozy gaming community and are perfect for winter, but I just haven't tried. So I kind of have to do a little bit more scripting of like, this is what the game is about. I don't know, but you will probably like it because everybody else does. That's what I'm gonna be doing. It's 4.47. So I think I'll finish up by like 5.30, 5.45. So I'm gonna work, I'm gonna feed myself and then I'm gonna watch vlogs, I'm gonna watch a show, and I'm gonna do Animal Crossing. That's a goal, that's a promise, let's go. I just wanna point out that I'm listening to the Lake soundtrack. It's my new work soundtrack. It takes me back to playing the game in the summer before I started work, and it was carefree, we were vibing, we were playing the game, we were laughing at, at the game, we were, it, it's just good times. Great game, good times. And it takes me back, man, it takes me back. And it feels calming and peaceful and nice. And so that's what I listen to while I work. And that's it, time to work. What, what time is it? It's 5.42, what I say? I said 5.30 or 5.45? It's 
42. I'm done. I'm so relieved to have that done. I think I'm just going to film it tomorrow and then um, have my editor just edit it on up. I think that's it for today. I'm crossing things off my to-do list. I'm almost at the end of my Muji notebook and I'm really sad about it because it's my favorite notebook and they don't have Muji anymore. Muji closed in the US and I'm really sad about it and all the stuff online is sold out, I think. I might hop in this Discord call because I got a few of my cozy friends in here chatting away. I might hop in there for a little bit. And yeah, that's it. All right, bye y'all. I'm listening to uh, It Happened One Summer because I need to be doing things at all times. Like whenever I'm doing anything else, I need to also be doing another thing. So I'm listening to that. I just want something simple. Okay, and a cheesy romance is, is what I'm looking for. So I'm listening to that while I eat. And then I'm going to set up all my gaming stuff and I'll update y'all then. All right. Okay, y'all. It's getting to be bedtime for me. I just played some Animal Crossing. I did. I did. Look at Ellie. I got it out of my system. You know, I did all the, the updated things. I just added leaves at Harvey's in the Harvey's co-op. I added leaves and I added um, the furniture couple. Um, now I'm gonna watch Hometown Cha- Oh, it's Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha. Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha is the name of the show. I'll show you. This is Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha. I guess I have to either watch this or vlogs because I have to read the subtitles. I think I'll watch one episode. I'll commit to one episode. If I like it, I'll keep watching. If not, I'll watch vlogs. But that's it. I'm gonna drink my hot cocoa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready for bed and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, and this was lovely. Thank you for following along with me today. Bye. Hello, friends. It's Wednesday. Um, I'm going to work. Here's my work fit. It's going to be a really busy day. I have I actually have like work, work piling up. And then, um, so thank God I got a lot of stuff done yesterday. I have to go like straight from work. 30 minute drive back here. Pick up a friend. Go to the Harry concert. So I doubt I'll be able to update y'all on that. But just wanted to say hello for the day. And yeah, that's it. Bye. Good morning, y'all. Say hi to Chila. He likes to um, lick this thing. Like to self-soothe before he goes to sleep. He licks the bed instead of himself. I had a lot of fun at the Harry concert. Here's the merch. It says love on tour. Um, but yesterday was wild because I got assigned this like huge project out of nowhere. So I had to like come home and work on it late and then I woke up at four and I've been working on it since four. It's now eight o'clock, but we have our company retreat this weekend. That's my week. Um, I went to dinner with some coworkers yesterday. It was fun. And today bar results come out. So I will either be very excited and update y'all excitedly or I will be sad. So that's tonight. And afterwards I'm doing a dinner with my friends. We're either sad drinking or happy drinking or a mix of both, depending on who passes and who doesn't. And if I don't pass, honestly, I probably won't go. I'll just be sad at home. Um, maybe play some Animal Crossing. Yep, that's it. I have an interview today at 12 um, for a cool publication. I don't know if I could say it, but I read them all the time. And I have to film something, so I have to somewhat look nice at some point today it's a busy day it's been a busy couple of days it's been a busy week it's been basically two weeks <laughs> but it's all fun and exciting yay <laughs> that's it i just wanted to give you an update for the morning say bye to chila bye chila hi y'all so um since this video is sponsored by gantry Thank you so much, Gantry. I love working with them. So I just wanted to say that I was stressed. I was like, okay, I have to sit down. I have to finish this and like whatever, whatever. And I was like, you know what will make me feel better? You know what will make me feel like cozy and at peace? My lamp. My lamp. And so I turned it on and let me tell you, amazing, healing. I feel healed. I feel restored. I feel cozy. I feel 
at peace. I feel ready to take on the day because my desk is now cozy and homey and my space and my mindset can be cozy and homey. And that's the power of lights in general, but these lights also, because they're so gorgeous and pretty, the warmth of it is so moody and nice that it just made my day so much better. And I just wanted to share that with y'all. You know, it's the little things, it's the little things and like the things you don't really think of, of like these little design aspects around your home. You know, you don't think of how it affects your mood, but lighting is for sure one of those things. That's it. Thanks, Gantry. Hi, cozy friends. How are we? Um, so what we're not going to do is look at my face right now. Okay. Cause I've been sleeping in my makeup this whole past week. Next bit of important information. I passed the bar. I'm sure if you follow me on socials, you've seen that already. Cause I talked about it everywhere, but I passed the bar. I'll insert a little video of me freaking out about it that I sent to my mom. So that's fun. I'm so relieved. It's literally just such a relief. I honestly wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. It was not even like 50-50. It was like, if I passed, it would be by the grace of the universe. <laughs> okay. And before I like get to my work for the day, I have to share. I got the most exciting package. So this was such a um, kind of impulse buy, but also not because it's just who I am. If you don't know, I am a perfume addict like addict but I've gotten to the point I kind of went through the phase of just like collecting for collecting sake and instead only kind of thinning out my collection to be the ones I really love and I really wear or ones that I think are like classics to have but when I saw this one y'all I had to buy it right away I had to buy it right away and I, I like set an alarm for it and like when it came out I was on it I was in my car on the way to work and I snatched it up i snatched it up and i'm so excited i think they're sold out now so i'll show you a little surprise okay ready y'all ready ta-da isn't it beautiful i didn't even know what it what it would smell like but i trust her taste enough to just like blind commit to it and then when i clicked on it the day of i saw like the first two um notes and i was like absolutely yep, buying it for sure <laughs> I'm also a sucker for like gorgeous bottles and this one is really nice. Oh my God. That, such a gorgeous bottle. It's heavy, it's like metal. I don't know how to open it. Okay, can't smell anything. I didn't put any perfume on today. Oh. This is the this is the gourmand I've been looking for like my entire perfume journey. This is there's like a lightness to it, so it's really gourmand. There's like chocolate notes. It reminds me of like getting out of a bubble bath that you've used like caramely, vanilla-y scents in and like body wash, and you just get freshly out of that, and you're just like you towel dry, you lay in your bed, and like someone's smelling you in that state. That's what this smells like. Ugh, Cause it's like also really clean and a clean garmand is hard. That's really hard. It's amazing. I love it. It's cruelty free. I'm seeing that now. It's vegan, cruelty free, paraben free. I love it. This might be my new favorite, honestly. I'm an easy to please gourmand person though. So, you know, but all right, there it is. Billie Eilish, fragrance, boobs, heavy, great, <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> That's my review. Boobs, heavy, great chocolate. You can quote me on that. Okay, bye. Hi, cozy friends. So it's the end of this week. I think I started this two weeks ago. Um, so it's kind of a, a two week vlog. I had a really, really long work week this last week where it's just kind of like really late nights every week. But I had stream yesterday and today and that revived me it revitalized me i feel great i'm gonna do a little bit of content work right now um just taking some pictures doing this other thing i don't know if i can talk about it until i post it <laughs> so working on that for tiktok and that's about it i will show you the mirror that i was talking about before 
So this is the mirror. Hi, my sock feet. Um, and I'm gonna put that on top of a dresser whenever I get this dresser. The one that I was supposed to get is just not coming in. It's just not coming in. So I might have to like get a new one or something. I don't know, y'all. It's been a weird situation with this dresser. Maybe it's a sign that it wasn't the right dresser. <laughs> I don't know. Had a had a nice relaxing night last night. I'm going to try and have another one before this work week because I know it's going to be another crazy week. Be more intentional about the time that I spend with myself this week as well. You know, get some more me time in. Get some more relaxation time in. I don't know how, <laughs> but I will. And yeah, so... I think those are all of the updates. We've got a lot of them, a lot of room updates and stuff, but still no final room. Still relying on my gantry lights to bring me happiness and peace in these rough work times. Thank you, gantry. <laughs> wow, look how moody that is. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> As always, have a code, CozyK20, and that'll be in the description. I have a link as well. So if you want to make your space a little more cozy a little more warm a little more happy definitely think about getting some gantry lights thank you friends for hearing how much i love these lights and um and i think that's it i love you stay cozy have a lovely week have a lovely thanksgiving bye